All right, here's where we are. I don't remember what my last update was, but uh, intercoolers in, AC condensers bolted up, aux fan is in, radiators in, my custom brackets, solid. That ain't going anywhere. We got decent clearance between, you know, the pulley and this. It's not much, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, my only concern right now is intercooler piping. There's not much space here, so worst case scenario, I might just like cut this shroud a little bit. And I don't know, I'm gonna figure something out. But right now, it's exhaust time. So right now, this downpipe is three and a half, and I decided to go with three inch for the entire system. So my chicken patties, but got this reducer cone. So this is gonna go here onto this other end of this V-band. And then we get to go from there. So let's see, got my TIG welder set up. Now it's kind of windy today, so we'll see if I can get a little spot over there. The wind won't blow away my gas. It's time to weld. So here's where I'm at. I got my reducer cone and my V-band to go into my downpipe. So I'm gonna start, see if I can weld this on here. Somewhat decently prepped it with some mineral spirits. Now let's do it. A reducer tacked on a few places. Now I'm gonna throw this back in the car. We can start fabbing up underneath. So we're under the car here and here's kind of the plan. We got this bend which kind of works perfect here. So we're gonna go something like that and shoot it straight out the back. Right now how to play a game of connect the dots. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Got the exhaust fabbed up enough for a initial start. So now that side is done. Got my compressor housing back from Mr. Spencer. Yeah. Threw a little coating on here. Polished up my PSR and tapped it for a uh, for my vacuum source. So now I'm just working on clocking this so that the drain is at the bottom. And then I can put on my extendo, extendo drain and start making some dash 10 lines to go from turbo to the oil pan. Got my oil feed hose. And then I got this fitting here that goes on the back of the Vanos feed line. So it goes from Vanos to dash six. Boom, oil goes here, up there these lines that go into here so this is a coolant one of them's a feed one's a return and it has a barb so that's going to utilize the factory uh what i do yeah it's going to utilize the factory um throttle body coolant hoses where are they so that's one the other goes to right here so boom yep quick little update got the intake manifold back on for testing purposes, if you will. I'm gonna bolt on my throttle body and then I can start fabbing up my charge pipe. Got the inner cooler mounted. It's my custom little V-brace. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not really centered, but whatever, it's good enough for where we're going. Yeah. So now we're fabbing up the uh, cold side charge pipe. I got my 45 coming out the intake. And then I got this 90 that I'm gonna shoot out the <coughs> inner cooler, so. You know, I got my line right there. I'm gonna give it the chop so it's a little shorter. And then I just connect the dots. All right, so here's where we're at. After some technical difficulties with my wastegate firing, not being able to fit in this uh this rapid spool knockoff manifold. Huge shout out to my boy Spencer for uh, the machine shop hookup. We're able to take this and get it machined down. So this edge used to be this size. We got it a lip machined into it, if you will. So now this fits into there perfectly. It'll go into here and seal. And now we're in business. So now one less headache to worry about. So I'm working on doing my charge pipe right now. So I got this 90 in here. Boop, boop, straight down. I got my other piece in the saw. About to give it the chop, so we'll go 90 down, 90 out, and up. So you'll see what that looks like just now. All right, so we got my charge pipe all tacked up, fapped up. 
Now we weld. Boom. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Here's where I'm at. Cold site intercooler piping is completed. I think I mentioned that already, but I'm working on the hot side. And some funky shit with some pie cuts, but we're getting there. Got one of these pieces. This piece is going to go here. It's going to kick us back kind of straight. We go there, and then some more pie cuts. Go down there, and boom, we're done. I hope. And my hot side, or yeah, hot side charge pipe all fabbed up, all tacked together and ready to weld. So I just oh, made my little custom two to three inch adapter or two and a half to three, whatever. This does one of these, down, and boom. Goes there, comes out there, and then you get elbow, blah, 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 bam, blah, blah, boom. Now we will. Little we'll update on what I got going on here. Just finished fabbing up my wastegate dump tube. I'm gonna pop that out and show you just now. Charge pipes are completed. Check out my masterpiece. Don't judge my welds. I'm kind of new to this aluminum thing, but you know, did some crazy shit. Went from two and a half to three. Doing that. We don't talk about that. You know, you got penetration and all that. This one was easy. Three, you know, whatever. Okay, you get it. Boom, that. Mess. More mess. Even more mess. But, uh, yeah. Fuel system time. So now, I'm working on bending this bracket with my mini sledge to mount my fuel pressure regulator over here. Then I can uh, run the fuel lines from down there. And yeah, it is fuel injected time. So I got me some South Bay 1000 cc's out of my eBay fuel rail. Just finished making all my and lines. So this is the return. Got my regulator mounted to the bottom of the intake manifold. Yeah, got the feed line here, return line here. Turbo oil feed. Uh, what else, what else, what else? But, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting on some hoses for the uh, coolant for the turbo. I'm probably gonna get some custom lines made. But for now, I should have everything to button up the intake side, so let's get to it. All right, here's another update. It's been a while since I updated, um, but everything is back together for the most part. Coil packs are in, injectors are in, intake manifold is in. Got everything except coolant. I still need to run lines to the turbo, but it's all we need for a first start. I don't even have my standalone in here yet, but we don't need that for a first start. We'll just plug in the mast, throw in a bunch of oil, start building oil pressure, and we'll see if she fires. The exhaust is complete. Don't roast my welds. It's my first. Well, not my first, but I don't know. These came out decent. Not the best, not the worst. Did a bunch of V-band, so it splits here. Just crawl under here, splits there, splits down there, splits on top. But can't wait to hear this. My these are my hangers for now. I know, don't judge. But uh yeah, trying to get this car back on the floor and work on some other shit. Here's where we're at. It's probably been like a a week since the last clip. The you know, car was running, but ran into some issues with my VEMS ECU. Got it used and for a really good price. So, you know, there was a reason why. It was so cheap. It's no good. So, my new ECU should be coming today. We'll be able to get this thing actually running. So stay tuned. Boom, here's where we're at. Got my old Vems out, junk, garbage. Got me a brand new MS3 Pro Mega Square plug and play. So, 
Hopefully this all works out. Also got a new wide band. Just got that wired in. Just gotta get my ground. Band gauge is wired in. Let's see, does it work? Cool. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. So what I did was I got power and ground down here and black and brown wires come out and around to over here. So it's gonna tap into the ECU to give it wideband signal. Nice. not fully tuned but it's working enough for us to drive it and she feels good she's spooly and everything I don't, you can't even hear that with all the wind noise but we got no way to see in this bitch so we chilling we chilling so here's the current problem I'm having key off car won't turn off i don't want to hit it again starter but like still running I guess that works, but I don't know. It's weird. All right, so here's where I'm at with this project. Got the bumper and stuff back on. Everything is pretty much done other than the coolant feed and return line set of turbo, but that's easy. Just wait on some fittings to get that done. Um, you know, I gotta tidy up this wiring and stuff. Got some tested tape, so I just need to rewrap that. But uh, she's done. She just needs a couple more revisions from Matt, and uh, tuning will be complete. You can actually start hitting boost. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna end this chapter. So stay tuned for part three, where the car will be fully tuned. We'll be doing some pulls, maybe a burnout. Maybe we'll shoot some flames. We shall see. JP Fabrication out.